Welcome back to the Garden of English. Today's one for you lit folks. Here's the dilemma. You've been assigned a reading. Today's the day it's due. You're in your lit class and your teacher wants to talk about theme and you don't know what the garbage you're gonna say. What can you do? Well, I'll tell you what you could have done. You could have read the story and not just glanced over it. You could have at least even looked at the spark notes. But let's say that you actually did read the story and you could comprehend what was going on and you're still confused about what to do to talk about theme. In all honesty, identifying themes and universal insights can be pretty difficult, but it doesn't actually have to be. With just a few easy steps, I can get you writing thematic statements like a champ. So let's work through this together. Step one in writing about theme is appreciate the names of the people who are about to show up on this screen and know that we at the Garden of English appreciate them too. All joking aside, the real first step is to think about whatever book you're reading and identify one major conflict in the story itself. For example, if I were reading the classic American novel Of Mice and Men, spoiler alert, I am about to ruin the ending for you. If you haven't read this story yet, you're going to want to pause this video here, read the book, it's super short, come back after you're done reading that, and then press play starting here. If I'm using this book, I could focus on how George and Lenny Two friends are working hard to obtain a ranch that they can manage on their own. Now step two is just as easy as step one because all you need to do is identify the resolution for that conflict that you found in step one. In this case, I just have to go to the end of the book and say, hey listen, I've watched them struggle throughout the entire book to buy this ranch that they're going to get together and manage independently, but then Due to a remarkably unfortunate circumstance and George's considerate dealing with Lenny, they're unable to actually buy that ranch and George realizes that he has to move on on his own. Now that we've identified a conflict and a resolution, we have to move on to step three. Step three is super simple. All we're going to do is take that conflict and resolution and make them universal. That means what we're going to say is what ideas are actually surrounding the action in the conflict and the resolution itself. We're looking to identify singular abstract words. In the case of Of Mice and Men, from the conflict you'll come up with ideas such as companionship and goal setting or in this case the American dream. If I look at the resolution though, what we're going to notice is that the ideas there are going to be things like destroyed expectations and sacrifice. What we do with that is we move on to step four and what we want to do is establish a relationship between the ideas that we just set up in step three. And we're going to put this in a statement to say here's the relationship between these ideas that we explored by looking at the conflict and the resolution and we're going to keep it nice and universal. So once again, that means that we're not going to mention the name of the characters in the story or any of the events in the story. We're going to keep these universal ideas nice and ambiguous so that they can apply to everybody. When you write a statement like this, you can actually use the following template. You start with the writer's last name and you're going to say the author writes and you'll insert the title in order to illustrate that and the next word that comes after the word that is going to be one of those universal ideas like companionship or independence or the American dream and then what you're going to do is you're going to follow that with a message about that idea that is true for most if not all people. And the way that you get that message is by connecting the first idea in that statement to another idea that you've listed out from the conflict and the resolution. So for Of Mice and Men, it would probably look something like this. Steinbeck writes Of Mice and Men in order to illustrate that companionship often requires immense sacrifice. It's that simple. The best thing about this is that you can repeat this process for all of the major conflicts and resolutions that show up throughout the story. This works for poetry as well. The point is, is that you have to articulate a statement that can apply to all people. Once you have this universal insight and you have these ideas that are interrelated, you should then be able to prove the universal statement by actually talking about the story that you read. And this happens in every poem and every piece of fiction that you can work with. And if you wanna know how to do that, you're gonna to wanna to check out these videos right over here.